guys, so I'm putting together my skincare video. I hope you appreciate my fall like fun shower curtain in the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go step by step with the different products I use to take my makeup off since I do have makeup on today. And then I'm going to go into the further steps of my skincare routine. So after I take my makeup off, I have a very ritual-like skincare routine that I do. So I'm going to go over that today, the products that I use, the trial and error that I kind of went through to find like those perfect products for at least me. Because when it comes to skincare, it is a investment in you. And as much as I love makeup, I, this is going to sound crazy, I would more likely spend money on skincare than I would makeup. Because if I have a wonderful canvas and foundation, it's only going to make my makeup better. So that's the crazy theory I have behind that. So if you guys don't mind, please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And we're going to get down to today's video. So the very first thing I use is these amazing life saners. They're Neutrogena makeup removers, but they're nighttime, so they're calming. Usually if I am taking off makeup early in the morning and like I'm going to go throughout the day, I use the oil acne cleansing ones. But whenever I wear my makeup all day long and it's been on my face, this is just, it's so calming. It feels gentle because a lot of makeup wipes in the past I've used just, they feel, they feel so harsh on my skin. Like it feels almost stinging like, and I'm like, I'm pretty sure it's not a good thing. Um, so I just go on and I take all that off, like one swipe and I'm just like, bam, it's very Mulan like effect. <laughs> when will my reflection show? Okay, Disney one went over. So, gonna continue taking all this off. Now, one thing I do, this may sound a little crazy, is save on cotton pads. Um, I have been taking the Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover for like your eye makeup and your lips. And I've just been taking one and then two over on this and I gently put it on there. Now, if I have heavier eye makeup, like if I'm doing a winged liner or like a really intense eye look, I will use a cotton pad. But since everything I did was really simple today, it still, obviously it still does the job. Um, and it gets all of it off and it gets where I, you know, darkened in on my eyebrows off and mainly just the mascara because all I had on today was mascara. This is my first time trying the Clinique Take the Day Off Eye Remover. I got it during the 21 Days of Beauty at Ulta. You will hear me pray. This is, this is fantastic. Like I'm all about this. Um, it's very gentle too. It's fragrance free and uh, which is huge for me. I hate when things have fragrances because I don't need my face to smell like flowers. I need my face to look nice. It is a personal thing for me. Like anything skincare that has like fragrance listed in the ingredients, unless it's very far down the bottom, I try to stay away from as much as possible because I don't need that on my face. And also I've noticed that things like that in the past have made me break out. Always read your ingredients. I'm gonna go over this later in this video. I am an ingredient reading like war. I will, anytime I try a new product or like when I hear a product that I've been using for a long time update this formula, I'm like in the store and I'm like going from the bottom up, scanning, making sure that there's nothing that should not be on my face, on my face. because I break out so easily, so easily. <laughs> This is the best my skin's been in years because I finally got my skincare regimen down and I am going to let you know like this took me months of effort because my skin, the texture of it has changed. Everything about it has changed. 
course now I'm 23 so you know your skin changes with your age and so that means your skincare regimen has to change with that too so one thing I always point out always make sure things that you get do not have alcohol in it like at all because that will dry out your skin just it'll wreck it it'll reap it of its oils it's horrible and I mentioned that because I'm going to talk about toner this toner is amazing I get it at the vitamin shop. I've heard that this is available at some Walgreens. I really wish that Ulta had this in their stores because it's fantastic. It's called Thayer's Natural Remedies. It has witch hazel in it. It's an aloe vera formula, but it has rose water extract, hence the rose petals. And what's great, it smells, it smells like roses, but it's not like that fake smell. And what's great is that it even says natural rose hint of fragrance. Like it doesn't say like perfume. Like it mentions that it has a fragrance, that it has an odor, and that is from the roses in it. It literally has less than 20 ingredients. It's also got grapefruit extract. Like everything that's in this is natural. It's amazing. I started using this and noticed a huge difference in my skin. It's made in the USA. It's cruelty free as well, which I don't know about you. It's a huge rule in my book now when I'm picking out skincare actually based off of a Native American recipe like on the side there's like the little like whole like story behind the company and it says alcohol free, prebian free, phthalate free, gluten free, undistilled, witch hazel, rose water, cleanses and tones. I always use this after I've taken my makeup off with a makeup wipe even though this one is really gentle and sometimes it just doesn't pick up everything because if you're probably gonna see yeah look at all that look at all that extra that i'm getting just by wiping gently with a toner And now that I have done all of that, the next thing I do is I hop in the shower and then I do the rest of my skin regimen at the sink. Because I read in an article that washing your face while in the shower, having the water hit your face, whether it's hot or cold, it's really intense and they can strip the natural oils from your skin, which is not good. So ever since I read that, I've been doing that for about a month, trying to wash my face in the sink or if I'm in the shower, having a washcloth just only to wash my face with. I'm going to hop in there real quick, let the steam open up all these pores, and then I'm going to go on to my next step in my skincare. The mask as well, and it says keep it over my hair. I got like this little like stretchy cloth band. I just go and I... Put that on, it really helps um, keep my hair back so that doesn't get in the way while I'm washing my face. So I'm going to go in with the Pacifica Glow Baby Walnut Scrub. This has bits of walnuts in it. It has rose hips and flax seeds. This is a exfoliant scrub where I actually feel like it's getting in my skin and that it's really like getting rid of that dead layer. Other ones, like those little beads that are in it, I feel like they don't do anything. So my face just kind of feels like this filmy polish. What's great is that this is another cruelty-free and it's 100% vegan as well. It has a little bit of a rose scent, like some lightly. I don't know if you can tell where I got my face wet and so I'm going to go in and I'm going to take this stuff because I'm not really proud of the flax seed is what is really sandy about it um and if you've never dealt with flax seed like I usually put it in my protein shakes and I usually have to grind it down separately and then put it in the protein shake because it's just it's so it's so tough um but I usually just go I start from my chin work my way up well I can smell the coconut and the rose it's very like earthy in the smell it's not overbearing because again it's not a perfume it's it's fragrance and so i go in i do about 
10 to 15 seconds at each spot. I usually wash my face about twice a day, once in the morning, once at night. So this is a little sample bottle. Uh, this is the Origins Tex and Balances Face Wash. I got a little thing from also for being a premiere, like, hey, if you like purchase up to this amount of money, you get like a little sample of this. I have been using this for a good two months now. And this little bottle is still lasting me. And I wash my face with it every night. And it's done a lot of wonders for my skin. Just using the other exfoliant, I feel like it wasn't enough. Like I needed a change up and this has been excellent. It's very frothy and it says frothy face wash because like I only need the tiniest bit. Like I need a pea amount on my hand and it covers my entire face. Like it's, it's incredible. It's worked wonders. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Because you can see like where I've taken that really tiny amount. And I'm just going from all around my face. It's also super gentle, especially after that exfoliate. It also helps get like the excess that's remaining. Like and you kind of feel like the little flaxseed and walnut grinded bits on my hand. And now I'm going to pat my skin dry. It's always best to pat because when you're tugging less on your skin, which is just going to save you from wrinkles in the future. So now I'm nice and dry and I'm super cleansed and my skin and my pores are exfoliated. This is a ritual I kind of do every Wednesday. Like I exfoliate usually once a week. But after I do all of that, I take the Body Shop Tea Tree Clay Mask. This has done unders for keeping my acne at bay. I do this mask once a week. Now the first time I use this mask, I'm gonna admit, I freaked out. And you can tell I'm gonna need more soon because it's getting kind of towards the bottom of the jar. If you've never smelled tea tree oil before, it can be a little bit of like a shocker, but it does have mint extract and menthol in it. And I didn't realize that when I first bought it. So I put it on my skin and my skin physically started tingling and I was freaking out. It says to keep this on for 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, like 15 minutes the maximum. And I kept it on for eight because I was so freaked out. I was going to take that mask off and all I was going to see was like breakouts and blemishes to where my skin was freaking out. And instead I felt very refreshed. If you have time in the morning to do this mask really quickly, that is a really good way to wake up. I feel like when I do this mask, my face can breathe because I can feel how the clay gets in there and takes all those impurities out and all the ingredients in it are really good, like I said, for acne fighting. Sometimes if I have just a pimple show up, like you can see where this one is kind of fading, I'll take it. I'll put a little dot on it. I'll do spot treatment and I'll leave it on for a long time. Like one time I had a giant pimple that was showing up. I put some of this on it. I worked on the paper for about an hour. I took it off and I went to bed and the next day it went down in redness and size. So I'm going to apply this all over my face. It says for it to sit to 10 to 15 minutes. The tingling usually lasts for a couple, um, you know, five minutes when you first put it on because it's getting in your skin. It's like, whoa, it doesn't stiffen a lot for a clay mask. Like it'll get a little tight. That sounds too bad, but I usually leave it on for about 20 minutes just because I kind of put it on a little thick so that way it gets all the way down to my pores. And so now the mask is dry. So I'm going to take it off and I'm going to move to the final steps of my skincare routine. I really take Wednesday as a day for self care and just to show some good healthy habits to myself especially in the middle of the week it's usually like when the stress starts to set in like oh my gosh i have so much to finish by friday this is a nice time just to kind of relax and take time for me and to do something that i enjoy so i'm gonna take this off and we're gonna move on mask is all off i go in and finish it with the mario vitamin c serum i got this again during alta's 20 
T1 Days of Beauty. It was half off. I usually shake it before I do it. Um, which is a steal because I've been wanting to do something that's really going to help my skin texture. And despite it being like an oily serum, I use it every other night like it says. And I have been using this and another product I'm going to mention after this for a solid like month. And I've noticed a huge, huge, huge difference. I'm going to usually put a little bit in my hand. Oh, and you can tell how much this mass opens up my pores just by the way that it gets in there. And it does start off a little greasy to me. But I just take my time. And I really massage it in my skin because massaging the skin gently is so good for blood circulation in your face, which also makes a huge difference, especially in decreasing puffiness. And then I go on with this, the cucumber spray. I do one, and then I go in with my all-time favorite, which I need to get more of, oh, I'm running around, is the Rose Water Herbal Spray. And I'll rub that in a little bit with the serum, and then it says to use this below a cream. And so at night, I use this every other night. This has made a huge difference in slight wrinkles that increases that are under my eye. This has also helped heal a scar that's been on my forehead forever. Like this used to be so prominent. It used to be like from here to here, and now it's fading. It's from where I fell out of the tree as a kid. It's adventurous. Um, and this has helped it go down because it's a retinal treatment. This is the Healthy Skin Anti-Wrinkle Cream multi Um, and it is amazing. I was really nervous because retinol can be, people say it's like really strong, it can make your skin peel. But this is gentle enough to use every night. And... I do, and the difference is phenomenal. The retinol has helped with my skin's moisture. It's helped with its texture along with the vitamin C serum. So between the rose water toner and the facial spray, which I use before and after primers, I also use it to dampen on my beauty blenders. And that way I'm not using water. Um, also helps set my makeup a little better. And between that and everything else, this has worked for the well. This skin regimen may not work for you. Like, but I highly suggest, at least if you're going to try out anything, is these facial sprays. And invest in really good makeup wipes that just don't take off the makeup but have skincare properties in them find a toner that you can use because also when I wake up in the morning I go on like a cotton square that I had earlier I put that toner on it and I'll wipe off my face and you'll just be surprised like the kind of oils and stuff that just build up in my face overnight that might come from my pillow or like <laughs> just from sleeping and like sweating and sleep or like you know if I put stuff in my hair where it might have gone down into my forehead and just doing that makes a huge difference especially with washing my face morning and night so I suggest you don't have to have two facial cleansers but find a gentle simple facial cleanser that does something that's beneficial for you like that either helps with moisturizer or is acne fighting but get something that's gentle enough to use every day anything honestly by Mario that I have used has been phenomenal. I tried the rose water, that was life changing. I've tried this guy, this is life changing, especially after masks or if I ever use the exfoliant scrub to really just calm down my face. And then I read so many reviews on this, and I really do believe this for all skin types because I have a combination of like normal oily in my T zone, dry under my eyes. 
and it's made all the difference. So this is my entire skincare. It's very long, it's very extensive, but usually every night I wash my face. I do the toner, the rose water, and the Neutrogena vitamins, and every other night I'll, I do the serum. In between that and me doing like this ritual every Wednesday and using the other masks periodically, either when my skin is having a major reaction or just, you know, to really clean up some pores, it's done wonders for me. So if you guys want me to try anything, like a sample size of something, or if you have any questions about skincare or natural remedies, because I have a huge natural remedies, I love using things that are more natural based. Like that is my number one thing. Like I am the, I'm always the one my friends go to for like, hey, you usually have one for natural remedies. Like, what do I do about this? What do I do about that? So I'm your girl. It peels off. It's just like, Ugh, but it's also so satisfying <laughs> at the same time. So in the meantime, take care and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much, guys.